Exclusive story from The Hollywood Reporter. Live action, R-rated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie in the works from producer Walter Hamada. Exclusive. Uh, I'm just going to read this, and I'll share my thoughts and my reactions to this chat. After the success of last year's animated hit film, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem, which I actually really enjoyed. It was one of my favorite movies of last year. It wasn't in my top ten, but it was like, you know, the, some of my honorable mentions. Paramount Pictures is keeping turtle power going by putting a new feature project into development. This one, however, will go beyond the realm of the all-ages material the long-standing property is known for and instead go for the, uh, into the gritty R-rated territory. Paramount is developing Change Mutant Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin, adapting a popular storyline even in the recent IDW, IDW comics as a live-action feature with the intent of making it for an R rating. Tyler Burton Smith, who co-wrote the upcoming R-rated action movie uh, Boy Kills World and who wrote the 2019 iteration of Chucky Horror franchise uh, Child's Play, which I actually like that film, is playing the script. Walter Mott is producing through his uh, 18HZ uh, production company as part of his multi-year deal with the studio. Hamada is the former head of DC Films. I remember this. He rose up the ranks of New Line, where he oversaw the Warner Bros. division's horror movies, including the Conjuring It franchises. Uh, his banner is focused on making features in the horror genre. The last run is about terrifying as turtle tales can get, set in a totalitarian future in New York City. The comic miniseries told of how the turtles and Master Splinter are killed off one by one by the grandson of the villainous Shredder, and synthetic ninjas. One turtle manages to survive barely and vows to exact bloody vengeance. One trick of the book was that it wasn't clear for a while at least which one of the turtles lived as the survivor had the weapons of all four. I believe I actually know who the survivor is, and so I, don't, I think that's been spoiled for me. I haven't read this material. I haven't read this material, but I think it's cool. I, you know, as I've said before, I'm not like, I don't like dislike the Ninja Turtles at all. It's like not my thing, you know. It's just I didn't really grow up with them. Um, it wasn't my thing, like, I only, like, recently had I been exposed to, like, more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles thanks to you guys, thanks to my audience, and so I've reviewed, like, episodes of the original series, um, you know, I've, I've been exposed to some of, like, the older, uh, movies, of course, some of the newer films, which I didn't like, but I really enjoyed Team and Team Mutant Mayhem, I thought it was great, and, um, I would, and, you know, I've also read the original comic, you know, uh, uh, which was totally like a parody of Frank Miller's like Daredevil, right? Because you had like in Daredevil, you had the hand, then and then and then Teenage Team and Team of the foot. Famously, the ooze that blinded Daredevil is the ooze that created the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? So uh, I've been exposed to that, which was which was a dark and gritty, you know, uh, kind of send up of Frank Miller books, and then you know it became more yeah, car cartoony and more, made more for kids. But you know they've dipped their toes obviously into more uh, mature, darker turtle material. I never, I never for a second would have thought they would have. Uh, done a uh, uh, an R-rated live-action film, but the fact that they're kind of going to do that, I think that's I think that's really awesome and cool. And so maybe yeah, turtle content for all different you know audiences and demographics. I think that's awesome. You know, it's a good way to keep your 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 property uh, healthy and to do new things of it. It feels it makes it feel fresh. So um, I I mean I don't I mean I don't know. I, maybe this is going to really hit. Maybe this will be the the Joker of of, of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies for all I know. But I think it's really cool. I'm I I, I, I know a little bit about this last ruin thing. I've had something spoiled for me about it. So like I actually know who the as far as I know I think I know who the turtle is, uh, who is the last Ronin. Um, so I'd probably that'll be a big reveal and factor into the movie itself, but, um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing how this material is going to be adapted, and maybe this will be something cool for future Compa Corner to review one of these, uh, these books, since it's clearly grown, uh, immensely, uh, popular and is very well-liked. I think that's awesome. Very curious who the, you know, they're going to get to direct the film, because they didn't really go into specifics about who is directing the movie, correct? Just the, the writer. Just, uh, yeah, just, just Tyler Bird Smith, who co-wrote our rated action comedy, Boy Kills World. So there you go. He's penning the script. So very curious to hear what they're going to, who they're going to go with as a, as a director. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. The, now, the thing is, I did see this trending earlier today. And, for, and of course, you know, the person that, that the people that, that want to direct this movie is the person that should not direct this movie, that should be kept uh, away from really any any film set at this point is Zack Snyder. I was like, why him? Why do you want him? You know, like his version of dark and gritty comes off being unintentionally funny all the time. Give it to someone who is actually a competent filmmaker who has a love probably for these, 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 these characters and for this version of them. You know, I'm like, why Zack Snyder? Why? Why do we keep giving this guy? Like you have all these people out there that, that think he's the blueprint, that think he's such as fucking auteur director. He's like, he's not, you know? I just, I don't want them to, I, 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 and they won't, they won't, they're not going to give it to them, 
Uh, obviously not. You know, Zack Snyder, he's too busy smelling his own farts. And I know that he apparently did like an interview of Empire recently. And, you know, he's still he's tripling down, quadrupling down on his depiction of Superman and, and, and Batman. He's calling people who took issue with his um, his depictions of those characters delusional. I'm just like, man, dude, you are you are stupid. <laughs> You, 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 you just really don't know what you're doing anymore. And, and now he's like, I'm, I can save Sucker Punch. It's like, dude, just, just drop it. My God. My Lord. That guy cannot live on. He, can, he cannot move on. My Lord. Any case. But, but, like, uh, the whole Zack Snyder thing aside, like, that's not related to this. I, I don't want him to direct this. And I doubt he will direct it. You know, especially if Walter Ramada be in charge. That ain't, ain't going to fucking happen. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. So, uh, but yeah, I think this is good. I think this is great news. I think this is really cool. I'm open to seeing, I, you know, I'm not married to like any specific iteration of TMNT. And so I'm, I'm happy to, for them to try new things with this property. So just, hey, just, just tell me a good story. And, you know, that's why I was actually really looking forward to Mutant Mayhem because it was like, hey, they changed it up visually. They didn't like kind of just do the same thing, which is so, what they sometimes do with the TMNT adaptations. Like, ah, let's bring in, you know, Shredder. It's like, no, it was different. I thought that was cool. So what about you guys? What do you think of this, um, this, this take on Ninja Turtle content? And what do you think of a live action R-rated adaptation. Could be a risk, but at the same time, it's exciting. What about you guys? Let me see what you guys are saying. Oh, let's see. I've seen an R-rated turtle movie on Pornhub. Oh, yeah, 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 the, the porno. I'm a furry. <laughs> Splitter once said, hilarious. Oh, let's see. They're never going to touch the heights of the porn parody. I mean, it's hard to, man. It's hard to. That, that, that is, that, that's a special little movie right there. The Turtles were originally a mature comic series. True. True. I'm, I've read that book. I remember getting it from the library. Remember that comic? This could work. I think it could work. No, I think it can. I think it can. I'm, I'm, I'll give it a shot. I, I'm glad that they're, they're going to do something new with it. You know, not just doing the same thing over and over and over again. So, cool. Yeah, the Michael Bay movies, which I didn't care for. It's like those Winnie the Pooh horror movies, but done correctly. <laughs> I, I, um, I never would have equated the two. Uh, but I, I, I don't want to say yes. It, thankfully, this is actually based on, like, well, the thing is, like, Teenage Mutant Turtles, they were like dark and gritty and mature. That was actually their the original version of them. It was only until afterwards that they became more for kids and cartoon characters and stuff, which is fine. You know, uh, people grew up with that, you know, uh, and, you know, it clearly worked. You know, a lot of people responded well to it, but it was cool that they've, at least the last Ronin, at least what I know of it, which is not a lot to be fair, it kind of harkened back to those original days and um, seemingly has, has been very successful, which I think is great. Let's see here. The last turtle of Shrek. Hell yeah. Snyder, I knew it. Yeah. You denying his Snyder love again? Yeah, I'm denying it. Not Zach, please. They're up slow motion. Yeah, I know. It's going to be slow motion. It's going to be dark and gritty. It's going to be turtle rape at one point. It's like, no, please. I feel like it's mostly botched champion from at this point. I feel like at this point, I feel like it would have to be, right? You know? Because I feel like people are now, like, now finally. Like, I think with Rebel Moon Part 1, that woke a lot of people up. That woke a lot of people up. And that's why there's, like, no excitement for Part 2. I've been kind of surprised by just the level of apathy towards part two of Rebel Moon, which is, I mean, great, because I thought the first movie was awful, but I was like, oh, those people are going to be, you know, marching and, you know, slamming and things, saying how great it's going to be, but it's been really quiet, which is refreshing in a way. My Ninja Turtles were raped in prison, Zack Snyder, straight up. Yeah, that's what he'll do. Ugh. James Mangold could be an interesting director choice. Ooh, he could do for a Ninja Turtles what he did for Wolverine. That would be awesome. That's a good choice. That's an inspired choice. I know he's super, isn't he doing like, is he doing Star Wars next? I forgot what he's doing. Because I know that he has a Star Wars film. He is allegedly directing Swamp Thing for all we know, but who knows. Uh, which would be very curious to see his take on Swamp Thing. That'd be great. Under James Gunn's DCU. Uh, so I know he's busy, but I don't know, one of those projects. But like, I'm still not convinced he's going to do Star Wars. I just don't think that's happening. So if they wanted to have him do this and have it be like a nice big win after the the stinker, the the wet fart that was Indiana Jones 5, then that'd be cool. That is cinema. Indeed. Good to see you, Kingpin89. Welcome. Uh, I just don't know about making the Turtles R-rated. My Hamilton, that's how they originally were back in the day. That's how they started. Um, yeah, I'm not, I don't want to say. I don't want to say uh, who the turtle is. I'll be quiet about that because I don't want to ruin it for people. Give it to Leigh Winnell. Ooh, Leigh Winnell would be a good one. It has the potential to be a Team NT's Logan. Leigh Winnell would be great. I really like him as director. Um, loved the Invisible Man. Yeah, but he's making Wolfman right now, so he might be busy. I don't know, I, but, but you know, they're writing it at this point, so it might be. This is probably years off at this point, so. But still, I think it's exciting. Uh, it's just not the Turtles cussing the same sex shows. We don't need to learn our uh, walk in April while she get. Yeah, no, we don't need that. No. Save Splinter. How do you know that name? <laughs> 
Are we need for Indiana Jones. Yeah. The th- the thing, you know what? I was when he was announced that he was going to be taking over for Steven Spielberg. I was like, you know, I think that was that was like a good choice. It's like okay, because I don't think you know, I don't think Steven like hearts in these movies anymore. Like uh, making genre films, making blockbusters, like he did back in the in the seventies and eighties and nineties. I just I don't think that, I don't think his hearts in it, um, and I think that's reflected in his. It's reflected in his content uh, recently over the last like twenty years. Like anytime he's dipped his toes back into that style of filmmaking whether it be uh, Ready Player One or the BFG, I just feel like they have they haven't been very good at all. Like, I just don't really care about those movies. And so I don't think his heart was in it. So I, th- I, think, I think he made a good choice to step away. Now, sadly, I, I don't know to what degree, you know, because I thought that's what I thought. I thought maybe we were going to get like, maybe not as hard, but like, man, maybe a Logan-esque version of Indiana Jones where that has potential for an interesting story. As much as I'm like, I'm tired of seeing these heroes just as old and decrepit and 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 just made out to be like, you know, losers. Um, there is a interesting idea there, uh, and I think Logan could. Excuse me, I think Mangle could have possibly done that. Vinita Jones, but I feel like that movie just had so many cooks in the kitchen. It had such an incredibly bloated budget, and the other thing too, like I don't think. I mean, once you're at that level, once you're making like that type of film for a company like Disney, now of course there are exceptions, obviously, uh, or Lucasfilm, but I just feel like whatever he could have brought to it, whatever his vision might have been, or his aesthetics as a filmmaker, I think that just got lost in the whole process of of that film. Now again, this is just me speculating, but there's like if I would have said like if we didn't know who the director of 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 Indiana Jones 5 was, like, I don't think any of us would have guessed it was James Mangold, right? You know? It's like, I don't think any one of us said, like, that's 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 definitely him. Like, I, I wouldn't, like, fucking, it was Steven Spielberg for again for all I know, you know? So, I think whatever, what he could have brought to it personality-wise, aesthetically, was just lost in the, in the machine. The Disney, Lucasfilm, 300-plus million dollar machine. And it just um, disappeared. So, you're right. I'm hoping that he does not do if he if he were selected for this movie, uh, he doesn't do what he did for Indiana Jones. Hope he does what he's done previously for films like Logan or Ford versus Ferrari or any of his other great movies. So, hoping the best. But I think this is cool. I think it's a good idea. He's shooting that Bob Dylan movie of Timmy Chalamet right now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Something smaller. Probably needs a palate cleanser too. I don't think there's any nudity or relations in the last run. Is Dylan Murray? I don't know, Team NT run as long as Team NT run in Team NT comics history. Although, though, right now, right now. That's cool. I don't know if I could tell you if anyone directed Indiana Jones 5, assume I didn't know in advance nothing about it. Yeah, exactly. It's like there's not a, like a certain filmmaker's like aesthetic or vision, or there's not like a level of competence to it, you know, that where it's like, okay. Because, you know, you look at someone like a, um, a Matt Reeves, right? Like Matt Reeves, who I think is an amazing filmmaker, I think he's one of the best working today, to be perfectly honest. I don't think, I, I have not seen a bad movie made by him. You know, I've seen his entire filmography. I, I know a lot of people don't like Let Me In, but, because it was a remake. I honestly think, like, Let the Right One and Let Me In, they're, I think they're both, like, really good. You know, I'm not, like, uh, like partial to one or the other. I think they're both very well made. Um, but, like, his Cloverfield movie, I, I really liked the first Cloverfield a lot. Um... I really enjoyed his Apes movies, Dawn and War, and I, I love the Batman, so I'm excited for what he's going to do with the Batman part two. But, you know, so you, have, you do have these filmmakers don't have maybe like a specific style or aesthetic you can go, you can pinpoint like a Tarantino. It's like, oh, this is very Tarantino-esque. This is very Spielbergian. This is very, I, I mean, you know, pull a director's name out of the hat, you, like Nolan-esque, right? Like with him, you have these directors that are kind of, or Fincher-esque, that, that, that don't exactly fit into like a box. They're able to do like different things, right? Um, but they still, like the case of Matt Reeves, they still display a level of competence. Like, this is just very well-made and well-written and directed and cinematographies to the nines and shit. And so, um, you know, even it's like, okay, what incompetent director made this movie? <laughs> That's why it's such a surprise that it came from a very talented person like um, um, James Mangold. So it's disappointing at the end of the day. But I'm, I'm hoping the best with this movie. I, th- I think I think this sounds really cool. I think this project sounds great. 
So I'm, I'm hoping they can uh, get off the ground and that it'll be successful. And it'll be a cool way to interpret the Turtles to, again, people that might not know that the Turtles had their origins, had their start being a really dark, gritty comic book. So I think that'd be kind of cool.